What's going on everybody? It is great to be back to make another full tutorial today. I love doing the tutorials. I think you guys like when I do these full length tutorials, so I'm gonna just keep on doing them. I put some time lapses up from time to time, but that's really just to kind of fill in the consistency for the uploading so you guys have something to watch. But I have a lot more stuff coming, so make sure if you're not subscribed, just hit that button, you know, the little click, click thing, wherever light, left, right, whatever side it's on, hit that and make sure you guys don't miss anything. So today we're gonna do a forest uh, and we're gonna try to make it a little bit more on the vibrant side, just a basic standard forest. It's definitely something you know that you can do even if you've never done anything before, you can definitely follow along and just do it. It's, it's all, all this stuff is, is pretty simple. I think, I think the key to doing any of this stuff doesn't matter if you've been doing it or if you've never done it. I think the key is you just have to open your mind. You have to have an open mind and just having that thought in your mind of, am I gonna mess this up or am I gonna mess that up or is this gonna look right or is the color wrong? Clear your mind, get that out of your head. And I, I honestly, you know, I'm not, I'm not perfect at any of this stuff, but I really think that's a big thing. So clear your mind of that, get in there, do it with a smile. And I, and I just really think it'll work for you, honestly. Be happy with your result, look at your result, figure out what you can do better the next time. And, uh, and that's just what I do. So I never give advice that I don't take myself. You understand what I'm saying? So definitely give it a try. So we're gonna go ahead and get started now. It's great to see you guys. I'm happy to be back always. I try to post once a week. So make sure that you're subscribed. Um, I don't think I mentioned it, Head, head over, there's a link in the description. Head over, it's a Facebook group that I started. There's a lot of new artists that are, that are coming on here and they're learning things and they're kind of all interacting together. We're gonna make a little community out of this particular group. So, you know, feel free to head over and send a little request to join. We'll get you in and hopefully you can learn something. But uh, I think that's it. We got a new goose, little baby goose. Uh, we have our goose for other goose for six years, but we rescued another little baby goose. Great. Here he is, right here, right here. Check him out, awesome. I don't know if he's a boy or a girl, but uh, it's awesome. I love helping animals. I love rescuing this or that or any, I just, I love animals, I love wildlife. I'm an outdoors type of person. I love to travel and I love to help those little critters when they're in need of help. So, okay, uh, that's for a whole nother video, I guess. So let's go ahead and get started. Get your stuff ready and uh, yeah, let's just do it. All right. I put some, I used some uh, clear gel from Gamblin. I put, I put that up here uh, just to save, you know, just a few minutes, but you guys all should know how to apply the clear gel at this point. You just kind of put it on and just, you know, work it in and, you know, scrub it into the areas where you want to, you know, let the paint kind of flow much smoother than as if you were to put it on dry, like we're going to be doing down here. There's no gel down here on the bottom half. We're just going to wing it when we get to that point. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to mix up like a bluish gray or a purplish gray color. So I'm going to take, uh, let's see here. I'm going to just grab some blue. I'm going to grab black and I'm going to get me a big old piece of red here. Blue, black, red. And then I'm going to scoop up some white. And that should give us a, you know, somewhere blue, purple, grayish color. And we can work with it. We can work with it. You know, if it's too dark, we'll lighten it up or, you know, vice versa. So I'm just gonna throw this color around. I'm not, I'm not even worried about anything right now. I'm just getting, I'm just getting it in there. Maybe a little bit more red on there. A little bit more light color too. Actually, I'm gonna wipe this off. So this is just gonna be like some background here, some background color. And I'm not gonna to touch, I don't wanna to touch anywhere right there just yet. All right, and the gel that's on here is helping this kind of like move around. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take some black to dull that down a little bit. And I'm gonna get a large, a little large amount of white. 
So black and white is what I'm gonna get right now. And I'm gonna come right in here, just kind of figure out where we're at. All right, and I'm gonna just continue to kind of wipe off any excess that I have here. And I'm gonna go into just take some pure white and where do I want it? Right about here somewhere maybe. And I'm just doing real big like strokes back and forth like these little, I guess they would sort of maybe be X's. They're sort of not X's, but, and it's gonna progressively maybe get darker over here to the right side. Now, there's nothing complicated to this right here. You know, you see what I just did? I just threw the color down. I didn't care if it was more on the purple side, a little bit more on the blue side. I wasn't worried about that. I'm just getting that color in here. You know, this way we have something to work with. All right, more white. This is just pure white. I just wanna brighten up some of this right here. All right, you see I'm just doing these wild little stroke thingies. All right, wiping that off. Let me set that down real quick. I'm gonna rip a paper towel off real quick. All right, I'm gonna rip that off real quick and I'm just gonna come up here real quick and I'm gonna go just like this. I just wanna wipe it. I'm not worried about destroying anything because this is a background. Okay. Set that out of the way. Same old uh, dirty brush. I'm gonna come right in here and I'm gonna start from the bottom like this. And I'm just kind of bringing it together a little bit just so you can't see the areas where I just hit it with a paper towel. So two things, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna not make such a mess because it's taking, you know, some of the oil out, which you know, which can tend to cause, you know, things to get real muddy and stuff like that. Um, and secondly, it's going to lighten it up a little bit, which is cool. And it'll give us a nice little background. All right. And you can repeat this step as many times as you want. You can wipe it, lighten it up. So I'm going to take some more white color here. Some more light, more light white. And I'm going to come right about, I'm thinking right here, because I want this edge. This is going to be our light coming through the painting right here. So I just want to lighten the background up. That light's gonna be shining right through like that. Just like that. And I'm not overly blending it in. I'm just hitting it and then walking away from it, okay? This little area here, we're gonna leave this pretty much untouched. I'll just blend the edge real quick. I'll show you why shortly. Because I want our light to be coming from this side and I just kind of want it to be shining in. So I don't want to kill it with dark color yet. Okay. I'm going to try to simplify this and make it super easy for you guys. All right, so what do we want to do next? Let me just rip this paper towel off real quickly. Wipe this mess up. No matter how careful you are, you're always going to make a mess. I learned that much. All right. Maybe a filbert. We'll put our little sketch in. Okay, so let's grab a filbert and I'm going to get just some dark color. Let's do this. Let's bring some, I'm going to bring some, just some blue, black, and some green. Blue, black, and green. And we're just going to make a quick sketch so we, just so we know where, where we're going with this. So we got some stuff happening right there. And we have a little something, little path coming maybe like this here. And then it's just gonna go right off of that side there. Get a little bit more paint on there. And it you know, comes around like this, same thing. Comes this way a little bit and then just kinda, it goes off just like that, okay? You know, put a few little, little hill there. All right, be just super careless when you're doing this because you can always change this. This is gonna drop down like this. Throw some dark color in here. And if you see what I'm doing, I'm just trying to be like real loose about this because I want you guys to get some confidence and know that you can do, you know, you really can do this stuff. So, okay, and there's another little stuff that happens back there like that. We'll work on that in a minute. Some grass and different things. 
Let me grab the knife real quick here. I just got to remove this. Uh, I took white paint and mixed it in with my black. So I just want to wipe that up real quick. Okay. So back here is, you know, it's gonna be a little bit lighter. We're gonna put some color in that, okay? And then we got, let's see, we got a nice light gray color, which I just added white to my brush. It turned like a greenish gray. And then we can start putting in little, just like distant stuff back here, you know? I don't know exactly what it is, but it's something. Little bushes and just little things like that, all right? All kinds of little background things. I'm just scrubbing, you see? I just set it down sideways and I'm just kind of scrubbing it. And the darker color that you see there, it's because I'm pushing hard. There's a little bit of darker color in the filbert already. So I'm making real distant trees and just different things. I'm going a little bit quick because I want, once again, I want you guys to see that you don't have to spend, you know, hours and hours doing this stuff. You just get your brush on the canvas and start moving some paint around. You know what I mean? You either going to like how it looks or you're not. And if you don't like how it looks, sling it around in a different direction. You know what I'm saying? All right. Somewhat of a background. So look, we're gonna take brown. I'm gonna take brown, I'm gonna take some blue, and I'm gonna take white. So I have a very, very pale brownish, bluish gray color. All right, I'm gonna pop in some, maybe there's like, you know, trees back here, like little ones. Something like that right there, a little bit more white to that actually. Make it much lighter. So let's just go right over top of this one here like this, pop it there. And we can lighten this up too. You know what I mean? You could absolutely like, I'll show you how to do that in a second. Background stuff. That's all this is. Some of this is going to show, some of it's not going to show. All right. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to just darken all this stuff up, which I normally do that anyways, but I'm really just trying to keep this basic. I don't want anybody to get like offended or, or not, not offended, but like, just nervous about doing this. So I always block in everything. I put the dark colors, I put the light on top of it and that's pretty much it. So let me just actually do that real quick. I'm gonna darken this up with like a blackish green color. So let me get some, I'm just gonna get, yeah, some black and some green and see how this looks. A little bit more green, I guess. I'm just gonna swirl this stuff in like this. We can change this if we want to. Make it lighter, darker. It's real easy. This is just real easy stuff right here. I'm gonna scrub it a little bit more the further I get back here because I want it to be a little bit lighter. The further you go back, the lighter it should be. A little bit more color right there. Just a little bit more of that pure green color. up and I'm sure that I've mentioned this probably several times I'm gonna get a little bit of blue actually blue black and green for right here make it even a little bit darker I was saying that I'm sure that I've probably mentioned this at some point in time I don't I don't paint these pictures to sell them I paint these because they do a good deed service for myself. They make me feel good when I do it. I like doing it. And that's the only reason uh, that I do it besides the fact of, of you know, helping you guys out. I've, getting, I've gotten so many emails and so many letters and all kinds of other great things from you guys that I've inspired you to want to do, do this or, or give it a try. And I just want you guys all to know I'm grateful for that. And that's why I continue to do this and to try to record it and stuff like that. All right, let me just step back. 
All right, so there's that right there, okay? So let's let's just fill in this area here. I'm just gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna use the same old uh, dirty brush right here. I'm gonna start off with some uh, brown, some burnt umber. And I'm gonna just get some of this color in here like this. I'm just blocking the color in. And this don't have to be perfect. You just get this somewhat in here. I'm going to make it a little bit lighter as I go back. I'm just kind of getting it spread out. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit of black and blue and a little bit more brown. So a little bit of a darker brown for right here. I just put some black and blue in it. This will give us like some shadow area right here because there's a hill. You can drag some of that green color into there. All right. And then, I'm just gonna wipe this off real quick. Let me get some of this yellow ochre color. Let's see what this does. Put some of this on on this side right here, since our light is coming right around there. Just wanna set that in place. And we'll work with it in a little bit. Just want to get it down. I'm not worried about right back here just yet. Okay, what else do I want to do? I'm trying to make this simple, so I don't want the I don't want there to be too too many layers on this. I guess if you want, you could put more green stuff like back into here. If you want, you could actually just take a little bit of green and maybe some yellow and just kind of mix it if you know if you want put a few more little bushes and stuff just something a little you know that will let you know that these are just a little bit closer you could change it up you know, a little bit more yellow here if you want a little highlight onto that let's put some stuff over here maybe even bring this one down like that You don't have to do this, but you can. I'm being super loose about this. And we'll work on this here in a second. I'll show, actually, I'll show you a little bit about what we're gonna do here. I'm just gonna wipe this off. I'm not too worried about it being like spotless clean. And I'm gonna take some white color here, a little bit of yellow ochre but mainly white. Our light's actually gonna be coming here. And I'm probably gonna add more of it towards the end. I'm just, I'm just setting it and I'm just kind of pulling it down. It's gonna be coming right across here like this. Maybe there's a little bit shining through here too, I don't know. Gives you an idea of what we're doing, right? And then we'll darken. This will be a little shadow here, some more uh, brown and blue. A little bit of brown and blue to make that look a little bit better. Make it a little bit more fuzzy back here because it's a little bit further back. It'll help give it a little bit of depth you can put a little bit of green back in here if you want that always helps a little bit of darker blue and black color here just kind of bring this edge back out here all right and if you like go over if you don't want it to be so defined like that you just come back in here and fix it you just Pull this back through like that. So there's so many different ways to fix things. Um, definitely don't worry about it. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab this one inch right here because I'm gonna put a little bit of light coming right through here. So I'm gonna just take some, some white, 
Actually, before I do that, I'm going to get a little bit of yellow up in here real quick. I just want to give it a, you know, a little bit of a sunlight feel, maybe. So I'm just going to spread this around a little bit real carefully. I'm doing circles here. This will just give it a feel of sunlight. A little bit more white in here. You could just brighten this up if you want. Bring it right down over top of this. This will really help it. It will really help establish the feel of sunlight coming into this thing. All right, you don't need much. That's about enough right there. So now I'm going to touch a little bit of yellow and white into this one inch. Because you don't really want pure, pure white to be like sun rays coming through. Now this is a cautious step that you have to take when you're doing this right here because you don't want to get drag dirt back into here when you drag it through. So I'm going to kind of come in, I'm going to just kind of set my brush down right here and I'm just going to kind of do it on an angle like this. And I'm going to pull. You see what I just did? I just pulled across like that. It may not look like much, but it will when it's finished. So I'm just going to wipe it. I keep wiping it in between. I'm going to get me a little bit more yellow, a little bit more white. Keep that color nice and bright. You know what I mean? Come back in here. Maybe we'll pull another one right. Something like that. Wipe it off again. Back into your color and just kind of swipe it. And just keep repeating them little steps and I'll show you what to do back here. Maybe we'll have one go off to that way. And something like that, a little bit more yellow in there. This is just kind of something you do until you're happy with it. Oh yeah, a little bit more yellow definitely helps. Okay, see something like that right there? Let me set this down. Go back into my yellow, my white, and maybe even a little bit of yellow ochre. Prob probably wouldn't hurt too much to put in here like this. And I'm just going to soften this up here. Just to be real careful and just give it a soft look, you know. Something like this right here. Let me just step back and see how that looks. Okay, I'm just going to wipe this brush off real quick. And you can you can pull carefully over it like this, and this will just kind of distort it just a little bit. I'm actually going like this. I'm not touching here. I'm going I'm setting it and pulling like a like a feather motion. Or you can go back and forth. I probably wouldn't even recommend that you do this. Um, just just touch and pull and leave it because even me I what I drag in here a hair see I just got a hair in there it's okay pull it right back out and done all right so let's see how that looks to work with okay so I'm going to set down this other one inch and grab a filbert here and I'm going to put in the first thing I want to do is I want to put in a tree right in front of this so I'm just going to use some brown. I'm going to use brown and I'm going to use black and I'm going to grab a little bit of white just to lighten it up a hair. A little bit of yellow ochre too. I just don't want it to be this extremely dark tree yet because it's not very close into the foreground. So I'm going to come right through here with a tree. I'm going to put it right in front of here like this. I'm going to set it right about there. Come back, grab some more paint up on here. Come to the top again. And just go slowly and pull that tree right down. And bring it right there like this. I'm going to add just a little bit more black 
and then I think it needs to be a hair darker. Something like this on this side, on the right side. And you just do this until you're happy, really. You know, and let's just bring a little one here like this. I'm just, I'm reloading every time. I'm actually getting more dark color in here because I want it to be a little bit darker on the side. You can actually, you know what, let's use some blue. Let's use blue and black. Blue is an excellent color for shadow. It really shows up good, I, I've noticed. All right, so there's our tree there. Okay, let's just plant our trees before we do anything crazy, all right? So let's move right over to this side here. We have a couple smaller ones there, so let's do this. Let's grab some blue, black, and brown. I'm gonna just mix those colors equally together. Blue, black, and brown. And we're gonna come right back here and drop a tree in right there. Let's just run over that one more time. A little bit more brown on the left side. Let's give him a little foot right there. And then maybe just put another one here, a little on a slant right there. And you know, another thing, don't make them all like the same, um, make one a little lower like this one. So it's not like, you know, right at the same place, you know, as the other tree, you don't really want to do that. Okay. And now I'm going to make one coming off of here like this. And you know, some of these might get covered up. I, I don't know yet. We'll see. I'm just making this one a little bit fatter. spreading some of this color around because some of that tree color is going to reflect, you know? Okay. So we're not doing anything else back here. Nothing. As far as any distant trees, we pulled that light through. Anything else is going to be in front of the light at this point. We'll put some highlight on here and there. All right. And then let's go. We still have another tree we're going to put here. Let's do this side here. For this one here, we're going to take a lot of blue a lot of black, and a lot of brown. I'm going to mix some colors. I want a dark color, a nice dark color. I'm going to come right up here. I'm going to start. I'm going to, our tree is going to come right to about, right about here, I think. So I just got that in there, and I'm actually going to fill this up with this dark color. All right, we can shape it afterwards. I'm just filling this color up. I'm going to make it, I'm going to make this tree a little bit bigger as it comes down here like this. All right, just so it doesn't look so bad from the top. You don't want it to be bigger on the top, smaller on the bottom. Give it a little bump right there. All right. I'm going to add a branch right there. And I keep reloading. It's so important because you want to get paint back on here again. And if you don't reload, you're going to just keep dragging right through the lighter color that you have there and it's not going to work good. Let's do this. Put a branch there. And maybe, maybe there's one right there. I don't know. We can add other ones later, little ones, stuff like that. I'm just being real generic just for the purpose of trying to show you. All right, same thing here. Just put a few little somethings in. Something like this. Some of the stuff was going it's going to get covered up anyway, so put some leaves on some of it, whatever. And I might as well do this one while I have it. Have the, this little brush going here. I'm using a filbert for this. Don't worry about your branches crossing each other. It's totally fine. All 
okay? They don't have to be perfect. Okay, so here is our other tree we're gonna put in. I'm gonna get a little bit more brown on this. I don't want this to be just as dark yet. We can always darken it up as we go. So I'm gonna drop this one in right about, right about here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it in. You see, you don't think about it, you just do it, you know? And then you can determine if you need to, you know, maybe we need to move it over a little bit like this. We can do that. If, you know, fill this in, come back this way. And then go just like this. I'm using the brown, blue, and the black on this. Drop that into there. Bring some of this little root down like that. Blue, black, and brown. Let's put a branch right here. Right off the top of the canvas there. Put one right here. Like this. And then we'll put one down here, like this. Just put them wherever you want, really. I'm not worried about crossing the, the ones in the back. I don't care about that right now. And I'm gonna put like that, one there. Put a little, you know, just a little bit of stuff coming off of it like this. This stuff, you know, some of it might show through, but most likely not after you put leaves and all that good stuff. So now I'm gonna take some black and blue, and I just want to hit right here real quick. I just want to darken up that back side right there. Primarily blue though. That's what I keep going down for. I just keep getting in here and getting this blue color just like this. And I'm just kind of being real loose about where I'm putting it, just on the back side, you know what I mean? All right, let me wipe this filbert off real quick. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down and I'm going to grab a synthetic brush, a three quarter inch, uh, this is a three quarter inch synthetic. I'm going to grab that and let's see here, oh, this one looks broken. Let me just grab a different one real quick. Okay, so three quarter uh, synthetic. Grab this and put some of the leaves in. So let's do this. Let's grab, I'm gonna grab green and a little tiny bit of brown to start. Green and a tiny bit of brown. And let's see if we like this color. I'm just gonna spread some of this color around here carefully. Oh, well, not really carefully. I'm just kind of, I'm just putting it wherever. Not wherever, but you get the idea, right? Uh, bring some up here, there, down here like this. You know, we're going to put some here like that. I'm using like a pure green color too. I'm just getting it in here like this. I'm just, just setting it down and just kind of moving it wherever. Don't be afraid to go across the tree either because that's totally fine. Now I'll say this again, I'm just being like real generic with this um, just because I'm just trying to show you the idea of what I'm talking about. All right, now I'm gonna go over and get some blue color and I'm just going to put some darker stuff up in here like this. Remember I told you about these trees back here? I'm not too worried about these because I didn't know which ones were going to show through or not. Put a little bit of dark. 
darker color in here. All right, so that's good for that one there. And maybe just a few here, I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna wipe this off real quick. Set that one down there and I'm gonna grab I'm just going to get another three-quarter flat, and I'm going to try to put some lighter colors up in this area right here. So I'm going to start with, um, I'm just going to use like a yellow ochre color first with a tiniest bit of like red in it and see how that looks first. I'm just going to set it down and just try to you know place little leaves and just different things in here. It's going to mix a little bit. You know, but that's all right. I'm just trying to avoid the tree trunk area if I can. I just want to get some of this color in here. Don't worry about the little dark spots. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna happen. It's all right. Mix some of it up into there. I'm gonna add a little bit more red now to this. I'll get a little bit of red going in here like this. Put some there like this. Just kind of messing around here, you know. All right, adding them colors. What else we got here? So let me grab this filbert real quick because we're putting this here. There has to be a branch for that to work. So maybe there's a there's a little branch there now, okay? Now I'm going to just take some red, some pure red color, and I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to spot this color around. And, you know, you can take your time a little bit better on this. I'm just putting in different colors and just doing whatever. I'm using a little bit more paint because I was wanting it to you know, kind of stick on there. Okay. Now let me grab some a lighter color. I just mix some white into that red and that yellow ochre. And I'm just going to tap around here like this. Get some more white. Just to, you know, bring up the little highlighted areas. Like a light pink color is probably good too. Maybe there's some stuff growing off like this way too. So I would say the hardest part of this is like not mixing in with those trees right there. I did a little bit. I'm not extremely worried about it at all whatsoever. Because let me just try something here. I'm going to grab this one inch and I'm going to pull it not pull it, I'm going to dip it right into yellow ochre and white. I'm dip. there's a lot of paint and a little bit of red too actually. I'm just dipping it in and I want to try to get just some different little textures up here. Now I haven't done this on the on the other picture that I was referring to which I'm trying to go off of here but just gonna try it and see if it works. Just adding just lighter areas in here. And then you can go right into like, you know, like a darker red. And I'm pushing straight into the paint when I'm doing this. Red red's definitely a nice little color for this right across the tree is always good I'm gonna come right up here to the top fill some of that in um, I keep dipping every time 
every single time I keep dipping in. Just want it to be a different feel, you know what I mean? All right, and then if you want to add some green, you could just grab some green. Grab some green and just do the same thing. Just tap it right into, if you want to have a little, you know, some darker areas in these leaves, you can do that. Like maybe there's some there, something like that. A little bit of blue too, that's cool. Blue's a nice contrasting color, nice and dark. You know, so there's just like a bunch of little different things happening or whatever, maybe. Okay, let's go back into the green and where we put these two, let's just tap in a little something here like this, just to give different little textures and stuff. You see how loose, and I'm, I'm being real careless here because I don't really care about it. I, I care about it, you know what I'm saying though, right? Because look, we can go take this three quarter flat and we can come back in here if we want and you know, we could just do little other little designs and little things and just mix it up a little bit, you know? Just give it some different stuff happening so it's not all the same little stuff going on. You could pull some areas through, slide it, just give it a different little effect all the way. Or you can, when you put the trees in, you can wait till it fully dries. If you want, you can, you can definitely do that too. Your choice. Okay, setting the uh, three quarter back down. And I'm gonna wipe this off here. I got some green on here and a little, there was a little bit of red. I'm gonna wipe it off and I'm gonna try to pull through some yellow. All right, and I'm gonna just go right about here I just want to put some lighter color right in this area right here. Just because that light is definitely coming through like this, see? It's coming through right there. Maybe some of it is going to hit here, I don't know. You know, we can put some color back there. I'm going to dip into some white, yellow, and brighten it up right there. All right, so that just kind of justifies this little area right here. So now I'm gonna probably just stick with this uh, one inch and get me a nice, you know, medium, nice green color to get started right about here. And I'm just gonna put in, you know, some little grass areas right about there. We can brighten this up as we want to. We can put a little bit more yellow on it. Okay, let's start here. I'm gonna darken it up a little bit. The closer we get to the front, I'm gonna go right here. Right down to this like that. Let me get a little bit of yellow ochre in there mixed with the green. All right, I'm just giving texture here, you see? I'm trying, I don't, I don't want this to be, I'm going to get some blue. I don't want it to be this hard, hard project. You know, I want it to be fun and interesting. I'm just, say I'm just tapping in some stuff here, nothing major. Softening this up here, soften this up. All right, we can even, if you want, you could even put a little touch of something back here. You know, depends on what you're feeling. Put something coming through here like this. Just think about where that light's gonna go. It's kind of hitting. Let's put a little something on the edge of this tree right here. See that? Maybe we should, I think we should brighten that up too because I think the light's definitely gonna hit right there. So I'm just tapping into some pure yellow and I'm just going through, putting it where I think the light should be. All right, that's all I'm doing is putting it where I think it should be. Should it be there? I don't know for sure. It's just my thoughts of where it should be. I'm going to come in here and make this area with some green, blue, a little bit of black, 
yellow ochre. Makes a nice little color. All right, and then we have our tree here, right? This come, grows right off the tree. I'm gonna lighten it up just a hair so you can see it. Come right in here. Make this drop down. This is a nice little hill right here, see? And that gives you like the idea of there's stuff going on. Let me set this down. I'm gonna grab another filbert and I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get yellow ochre and white and just maybe a little touch of brown, I guess. And I just want, this light's coming in. I just wanna put something here. I mean, we could have did this right after we made the little tree trunk and it may be easier to do it that way, but it's all right. You know, put some stuff here, there, there. Just a little highlight is all it is. Put something back here, there. I'm being like extremely, you see what I'm doing here, I don't have to tell you. I'm just like, whatever, I'm just doing it. But the, the reason is I'm not, I'm not just being careless because I want to, I want you to see, you know, that um, you don't have to be real meticulous about doing this. I'm going to get some pure white here. It's a little dirty. I'm just going to drop in some white here like this. All right, just to show some light coming in. Okay, that's it. Now, I'm going to get some blue. I'm just mixing some blue up in there. And I'm going to come over here and put some of this little reflected light in some of these areas here. I'm just kind of, you know, putting it wherever. All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten up uh, this area just a little bit. I think this is all pretty good here. I don't want to go overboard. You don't want to put no light up in here. You don't want to put no light there. You want this to remain pretty dark. And that's going to help you, you know, get your overall feeling of what I'm trying to get here, which is I want that light to just be coming right here. It'll catch your eye when you're looking at it uh, versus if you had white or light colors up here. It's not, you know, I don't think personally it's going to look too great. I don't want to put any here either. So it's going to stick with right here. So I'm going to do this. Let me just, I'm going to take some yellow and I'm gonna get some pure white. It's mostly white, there's a little bit of yellow in here. And I got, you see how much paint? You, it might be hard to see, but I have a lot on here. And I'm just going to just speck some of this. I'm gonna keep going back in, you know, and dipping some and doing all these things. I just wanna get a few extra things right there. And I just think that'll make it look better. And there's a ton of paint, so I'm not even, I'm barely even touching. I don't even think the paintbrush is touching the canvas. I just want like little things that look like leaves and, you know, stuff like that. But don't, I don't want to go overboard on that either. Maybe there's going to be one right there, right there. You can absolutely mess it up if you put too much of that. So just a couple spots. And you can use a fan brush for this too. I'm gonna to come in here, right about here. And I'm just gonna put a few little things right there too. And we're almost done. Almost done. Well, there's a lot of paint on here. Right there, and maybe I'll just put some over in here. Just like this. Okay, 
so that hits there. I think that looks pretty good so far. So let me just wipe some of that out real quick. I'm actually going to wipe a lot of that out. And it's going to get nice and light. And I, I'm, I'm just wondering if I should put something right here, just a little something right there. Yeah, that's cool. You know, maybe I'll do the same here. I don't know. I don't want to spend too much time on this because I want this to be simple for you. All right, so now I'm going to grab a liner, get some uh, thinner on it. And I'm going to just use, you know, brown. I got some thinner on there. And then I want to, I just want to make a few little, you know, branches and things. Just drop some through here. They don't have to be perfect. People will get the idea, you know. Put some up in here, right across the, right there, like that, up there. You know, it just helps. And I know you probably can't see because my hand is in the way, but this is what I'm doing. Put one right there. A couple little ones there. Just throw some around here like this. Something like that. And maybe you could spend a lot of time doing this too. You know, I'm just spending a few seconds doing it. Maybe we'll have a little branch coming out this way too, like that right there. Um, not worried about that. All right, let me wash this out real quick. Get that out of the way. And then what do I want to do? All right, so I'm going to use this dirty one inch that we have here. I'm just going to wipe this off. It just, it's got green, black, blue, all kinds of colors in it. And real quickly, I just want to take some blue and black and maybe a little bit of green, just a dark color, no particular mix on this. And I just want to, I just want to darken some of these areas right here real quick, primarily here. Put a little bit, of, I'm just kind of stomping this color in. Just to cover up, there's a little bit of white left in this canvas right there. Put some shadow there. Something like this. This will just help with a few different things. Okay, we can set that back down now. Go back to the filbert here. And I'm going to get some like a yellow, yellow ochre color. There's a, there's a mud in here too. And I just want to sprinkle some of this around real quick. Okay. I'm going to get some blue and white on the same. I'm just using the same one. Some blue and white and I'm going to come right here. And this is just going to help you see like the shadow side of the trail. Just like that. That's it. Kind of wraps into here. You can always get some darker color, some black if you want and darken some of this up. If it's too light, if that blue is too light, come right in here. Some black. You can come right here too. Just, you know, you can mix some of this around wherever you want, really. And then let me just wipe this off real quick. I got a lot of different colors on this filbert. So I'm gonna wipe it off and then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go like this real quick back and forth and just kind of bring these together a little bit, I guess. The darker and the lighter color, all right. Set that down and grab, I'm running out of room. So I'm gonna grab this knife real quick. And I got some nice 
light color here. Well, it's like a yellow, blue. It's just light. I don't really care about the color. It's got all kinds of stuff going on in it. And I just want to, oh, I love using the knife. I'm just dropping some of this in. You don't have to do this, I'm just doing it. I'm gonna wipe that off. And now I'm gonna go right into a darker color. I want there to be just like a lot of little contrast. So I'm making it break using a real light touch on this. Just like that. And that's just gonna help make it look like it's, you know, rocks and whatever else. I mean, you can add, you can easily add some little rocks and stuff over here if you want, or here. by using like a brown and like a bluish color or whatever. But I don't want to go overboard on this because I want it to remain simple. So I'm just going to go back to a little bit of this green color real quick. Oh, that ain't green, that's red. Put some of this color back in with the knife. I love using this thing, I, I really do definitely uh, gives you a totally different effect. Now, I don't want it to be too bright. I'm just putting some of this color back in, so I'm going to rub it. Go over here and get some darker green Put right over top of that. And then some black. Darken it up, really. So I don't want this to scare you. I just want you know, to make the steps a little bit simple so you can do it. All right. Let me just take a look real quick. I think what I want to do is I'm going to take a filbert real quick. I'm just going to destroy some of these edges on this tree. Just some of the back edges. Pull it in this little direction like this. Maybe drop it down. Just so it looks a little bit more natural, I guess. Not so much of a hard edge. I don't want to kill it all the way. Because I do like it. I guess we can put a few little things here, maybe. I don't know. You don't have to. I actually wouldn't. You want to keep this dark. Keep that dark right there. All right. I'm going to step back and let me just have a look at this real quick. All right. I'm happy with it. I hope you guys are happy with it. I hope it helped you guys. I hope uh, I hope I, I kept it pretty basic. That's the idea. I'm trying to keep things basic for you guys so you can pick up and actually follow along. Um, I'm going to do another one in about a week. I'm trying to upload weekly, so I hope you guys are enjoying this. Leave me a like below, leave me a comment, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all of the good platforms, do all the things I always ask you to do. And I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. Take care, have a great day. God bless all of you, and I hope you had a happy, happy Mother's Day if you're a mother. Take care, see you.